Over the past six years, I've made hundreds of macros to help me save time at work. In this video, I want to show you 10 of my favorites that help me save hundreds of hours a year. They're super easy to set up and require no previous experience, starting with macro number one, which helps me set up my workspace for the day. So whenever I log into my Mac for the first time each day, I always want to open my calendar as the first thing. So I have a macro that does exactly that. Whenever I open my computer for the first time, it will bring my calendar to the front, set to the current day. So in Keyboard Maestro, which is the app that I use to build these macros, the macro is pretty simple. So it's triggered whenever my Mac is unlocked, whenever it wakes up, or whenever I log into the macro. And then below are the actions that are triggered to run this macro. The key action is this one here, the activate calendar action. That's what actually uh, brings the calendar to the front. And everything else, it's a little complex, but basically it's saying if this macro has run for the first time in a given day, then trigger this action to activate the calendar. Otherwise, do nothing. So if I open my Mac for the second time that day, it's not going to do anything. It won't open my calendar. Also, you can download all the macros I'll show in this video completely for free from the description below. All right, the second set of macros that I use every single day, let me type out something like semicolon D1 and have that get expanded into the current date. So semicolon D2, we'll type the date in a different format. Semicolon D3, we'll do it in this format. And I also have ones to type out other uh, common sets of characters. So for example, semicolon DB, we'll type my date of birth. Semicolon 123, we'll type my address. Semicolon email, we'll type out my email. So there's a ton of customizability. You can basically set these to do anything that you want and save a lot of time instead of typing out these common uh, sets of text manually every single time. So back in Keyboard Maestro, these are what the macros look like. Basically, they have a typed string trigger. So that's this right here, type string trigger, where you put the text that you will type and that will trigger the text expansion. So for example, the address, it's uh, semicolon 123. And then the action below just inserts that text by typing it out. And it will simulate four deletes. So it'll delete this text here before typing this text below. The ones to insert the date are a little bit more complex. They basically rely on the special formatting to determine how the date will look, whether it's like this or like this. Um, but again, you can download these if you want to try them yourself. All right, the third macro that I use every single day is one that will trigger whenever I plug in my laptop to my external monitor. So this is kind of hard to do on recording right now, but I'll simulate it. Basically, when I plug it in, it will send all of my windows to the monitor and rescale them to full screen. So um, apps like Obsidian or Keyboard Maestro, it will put them on the monitor in full screen. So this is what the macro looks like. It has a trigger of whenever the display layout changes, basically meaning whenever an extra display has been added, and it will set all of these windows to full screen. So like the Brave browser, Obsidian, Mail, uh, my calendar, a bunch of others. There are certain apps I don't want to get set to full screen, like Finder, I like to have um, kind of in a smaller window like this, but the other apps that I have selected here will get scale to full screen and put on the monitor. So this is super useful. It saves me any time trying to set up my windows whenever I plug in my monitor. By the way, if you want me to personally help you make custom macros like this to help you save over 100 hours a year, I run a program called the Automation Accelerator. It's super personalized to help you save as much time as possible. And you can sign up for a free coaching call with me using the top link in the description below to see if you'd be a good fit. Macro number four is the paste by name macro. So the way this is triggered is with a keyboard shortcut of option shift V. So I'll press that right now. And here you can see a list of all of the things that I've recently copied. And if I were to double click on one of these, you can see that it pastes it in directly into the front document. So let's say I had a couple things like this email address and this date that I needed to copy. 
and then I needed to go to another app and paste both of those in. Well, I can see all of the items I've recently copied in this clipboard history and just double click on them to paste them in. So this is incredibly useful, saves a ton of time, you know, instead of having to switch back and forth between apps and see what I've recently copied, it's all contained here within this list. And then in Keyboard Maestro, again, it's just a hotkey trigger. I set it to Option Shift V and a single action, which is the paste by name action, which will bring up uh, this window right here. Next, I have some macros to instantly open uh, some of my favorite websites. So if I press Control C on the keyboard, you can see that will open ChatGPT. If I press Control W on the keyboard, that will instantly open uh, Wikipedia. And you can set up these custom hotkeys to open any websites you want. So this is incredibly useful. It saves the time of having to manually open um, my favorite websites. I can just press those shortcuts. And by the way, that works from any app. Um, I don't have to be in the browser and I can just open those websites with ease. Back in Keyboard Maestro, they are incredibly simple macros. They just have a hotkey trigger set to whatever hotkey I want and a single action to open a URL with the custom website in my browser, which is Brave Browser. And that actually brings us to the next set of macros, which will let me instantly switch between apps with a single keyboard shortcut. So for example, I have a shortcut set to open Brave, and if I press it more than once, it switches between the windows. Um, I have one to open Keyboard Maestro, so you've probably seen me use these macros throughout this video. Um, one to open Finder, uh, one of the shortcuts will open the desktop, one will open the downloads, and one will um, toggle through existing windows. So if I have multiple windows open, then I can press the shortcut again to jump between all of them. So this is super useful. I literally cannot use a Mac without these shortcuts because I feel like I'm super slow without them, but it just makes it super easy to instantly switch between all of my open apps without the need to use the mouse or go down to the dock at all. So in Keyboard Maestro, these macros have a couple different actions. So for example, the one to open the desktop, it's just a hotkey trigger, it activates a finder and then presses a shortcut, Command Shift D, so that shortcut will bring you to the desktop. The one to open the downloads is similar. Uh, it just presses Option Command L, which brings you to the downloads after it opens the finder. The one to open Keyboard Maestro, this one will activate Keyboard Maestro if it's not open, but if it is open, then it will toggle between open windows of the app. So I won't explain how this works in this video, but you can play around with it if you wanna switch these apps out for something other than Keyboard Maestro. Okay, macro number seven is one that I use multiple times a day, and this is super simple. So basically, whenever I activate Finder, it will bring all of the Finder windows to the front instead of just one. So whenever I'm in another app and I activate Finder, well, I usually don't do it from the dock, I do it with a keyboard shortcut, but you can see it brings all of my open Finder windows to the front instead of just one. So in Keyboard Maestro, it looks like this, always bring all Finder windows to the front. It's triggered whenever the application Finder activates. So Whenever Finder gets activated, it will run this action below, which is to select a menu item. So the menu item is this one, window, bring all to front. So window, and let's see, bring all to front. Basically, it will simulate clicking on that menu item, and that will bring all of the Finder windows to the front whenever Finder activates. Super simple, but super useful. All right, the next macro is related to copying and pasting text. So let's say I need to copy some text here, macros I use, I'll press Command C to copy that. And then let's say I need to copy this as well every single day. So I'll copy that with Command C and now I'll come paste. But instead of uh, losing access to the first thing I copied, I can actually just press another shortcut, Option Shift 2 to paste the second item in my clipboard. So I don't need to make multiple trips. And I also don't even need to open the clipboard history to be able to paste in two items at once. 
Now, something even crazier is that you can make as many of these as you want. So let me just copy all three of these dates and I'll come down, I'll press Command V to paste one, Option Shift two to paste the second, and then I can press Option Shift three to paste the third item. So I don't have to make multiple trips, I can copy everything at the same time. In Keyboard Maestro, these macros look like this. One is to paste the second item in the clipboard, so that's a hotkey trigger of Option Shift two. It basically sets the system clipboard to the uh, item that's the past item in the clipboard, and then simulates an action to paste it. And then the other one is similar, pastes the third item in the clipboard. It sets the system clipboard to the uh, second pass item, which would be you know the third one down, and then simulates an action to paste. Okay, the ninth macro is one I also make use of all the time. Basically, it lets you select some text, and then you can press a keyboard shortcut to have that text read to you out loud. So I'll press the shortcut. 10 macros I use at work every single day. And you can hear that it read it out. So I normally have the speed pretty fast because I like to listen to things fast, but you can slow down that speed. Um, you could change it to speak very fast or very slow, depending on your preferences. But basically what this does is it's a hotkey of Option Shift T, so text to speech. And whenever you press that, it will copy the text under the cursor and it will speak that text out loud. So this is incredibly useful. Often when I'm writing emails, I'll just select the text. I'll press the shortcut to listen to it to catch any uh, grammatical mistakes or errors. Uh, or if there's just a big block of text that I want to listen to instead of reading, then I'll activate this macro. All right, the 10th and final macro that I use every single day lets me copy any text, but then when I paste it with a special shortcut, it gets rid of all the line breaks and extra spaces. So let's say there were double spaces, there's extra lines in some uh, block of text like this that I don't want when I paste. I just activate the shortcut and it gets rid of everything that I don't need. It gets rid of all those extra spaces, any weird formatting, and pastes it in, um, in a very clean format. So in Keyboard Maestro, it looks like this. It will uh, basically filter through whatever text you copy whenever you press the shortcut Command Control V. It will get rid of the spaces. It will filter the uh, text to get rid of any weird formatting or highlights. And then at the end, it just pastes in that formatted text. So these are 10 of the macros I use at work every single day. If you enjoyed this video, you might like this one next where I talk about five macros that save me 25 hours a week. Thanks for watching.